sometimes when my cable TV bill comes in, of course it's you know it's the internet and it's all that stuff. Right, it's bundled. I just I, I just close my eyes. It's an expensive one. I know. Yeah, they don't make it cheap. Hundred bucks a month easily. <laughs> More yeah. than that at our house. Yeah, uh, there are cord cutting solutions though that can give you unlimited access to all of your favorite shows for a, a lot less money. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello is here with a look at some of the options. Okay, we're listening. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, you can cut that cost by cutting the cord. A lot of different options these days, and I'll tell you, you know, with modern technology the way that it is, most televisions are going to have the capability really on their own with nothing more than a paper clip to get the reception that you need. But maybe you want to step it up a little bit. So. Let's start by talking about this. This is the flat wave amped antenna by Weingard. These things start at around $30. So, I mean, that's a pay one price and then you get free access moving forward. A couple of cool things here. First up, look at this design, ultra thin. You Ooh. can lay this flat, you can hang it on the wall. You can even stick it behind the television that hangs on the wall. Powers through a standard AC or through a USB connection through the back of your television. Literally, you plug it in, you scan for the channels and you go. Now, I know some of you in Rural areas are not going to get the kind, same kind of reception that folks uh, in the more urban areas are going to get. But this is a pretty good solution for a lot of folks. The nice thing about this is because the HD signal doesn't have to be compressed and shoved through your cable or satellite lines, over the air HD is actually a better, higher quality picture yep. than the one that you pay for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so for a lot of folks, they want to maybe take that content on the go or you're thinking, all right, but what about my DVR, right? The product is called Simple TV, one of many out there, but this one in particular resonated with us. You can watch, record, and pause live television. You can even schedule recordings of your own show, the, the, your favorite shows. The neat thing about Simple TV as well is that you can actually take this content, watch it on your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your phone. If you want extra storage space, you can buy a little hard drive to kind of use that as your DVR. For those of you who want to watch this content on your television, you can do it through an, either an internet-enabled television or by buying one of these little guys, a little set-top box like Apple TV or Roku. We chose Apple to show you this morning just because so many folks have iPods and iPads and iPhones, and this obviously streams very well with those. Here's a little bit of a difference. Now, you won't be able to watch live television with this, but if you're thinking, okay, but I, I like to watch Good Day or I want to watch the news at 9, right? You can still access that programming by accessing the internet through one of these boxes and then watching the streaming broadcast of it live as it happens so you don't necessarily miss all the local stuff. As for programming itself, you'll want to access uh, app, apps like Hulu or Netflix to get your favorite programming and some of that, of course, will be just a little bit delayed. But again, less than 100 bucks for this and that's a pay one price mm. and you never pay again. Right. And for folks who say, you know what, I don't even have the $100 to spend. Take a look at the technology already in your house. You may be able to pull this off with the stuff you already have. For example, check your Blu-ray player. Maybe it's internet enabled. This one is, it was about $49 at Best Buy. It has access to Netflix and to Hulu and to YouTube. Virtually anything you want to watch can be accessed through those sites. And again, this you pay one price for the Blu-ray player and don't play, uh, pay moving forward. Also go into the game room, check out what the kiddos have. I'll tell you, this is really gaining popularity. You think of all those gaming consoles that hook up your kids via the internet to game with opponents in other countries and other cities. It does that by accessing the web. That same web access can get you uh, access to your favorite TV shows online as well. We have links to all these products right now. Again, each one of them. Less than 100 bucks, myfoxdfw.com. Yeah. Takes a little work, I think. It does. You know, like, it's you not know. as simple as, you know, just turning on the TV and right. whatnot. But I'll tell you, when you're ta I, I know the bill at our house is hovering around the $200 mark. Now, mm -hmm. yes, that's for cable and internet, you know, and, and right. some stuff bundled in there. But the idea of paying less than 100 bucks and paying one time and eliminating yeah. that bill, I mean, that's a cost savings of $2,400 a year. And once you start doing it, once you figure out where you're going to find your show, then it's then it's you know once you. That's why you hire the kid next door. Times. Twenty bucks to the kid next door. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah.